During the scene where Han Solo is about to be frozen in carbonite and Chewbacca starts attacking stormtroopers, we see Darth Vader prevent Boba Fett from shooting any of them, which is a pretty interesting detail. I've seen a few theories in the past about this, like Vader recognized C-3PO on Chewie's back and didn't want Boba to shoot the droid by mistake. But there actually is a reason provided in canon for why Vader stopped Boba. It might seem strange that Vader would care at all if any of them got shot, considering his main concern was Luke. But thanks to the 2020 Darth Vader comic series, we have an answer. After their duel on Bespin, Vader became even more obsessed with Luke and was determined to bring his son to the dark side. Vader believed that Luke's friends and family had made him too weak to embrace his true destiny with the Sith. In a moment of recollection as he was being repaired and rebuilt into his armor, Vader thought of the pain he had given Luke on Bespin when he cut off his hand. But Vader was angry that Luke's pain had not led him to hate or power as it would a Sith. Remembering the trench run on the Death Star, where Vader unknowingly pursued Luke, Vader thought of how despite Luke's promise, he was still weak. Luke had never done anything without his friends. He knew that Luke thought his friends had saved him, and that he had saved them in return. As the events of dispatching bounty hunters and torturing Han Solo flashed through his mind, Vader thought that was good, hoping that Luke would keep believing those falsehoods. He wanted Luke to think that he and his friends had survived so long through strength or fortune, instead of by Vader's design. In truth, Vader had made sure that they had all survived only to keep that false hope alive in Luke as his machinations continued. That was why he stopped Boba Fett on Cloud City. Okay, so obviously this isn't like the craziest story ever. I just thought that it was a really cool detail that just kind of adds some context into The Empire Strikes Back and Vader's quest to corrupt Luke. I've been rereading a lot of these Vader comics and this is just an interesting detail because in The Empire Strikes Back, I always thought that it was funny that Vader, like, stops Boba from shooting or whatever. And, yeah, I've seen theories in the past about why that happened or whatever. And I thought that this would just be a cool, like, quick video to make, giving some extra details. It's just like a little sprinkled in detail in the comics that I thought was pretty interesting. Nothing monumental or, like, world shifting in terms of lore and stuff. I just thought that it was cool. It's interesting to think about like how Vader was manipulating events and what his plans were for Luke and everything going through Empire and Return of the Jedi because he acts like he's capturing Luke for the Emperor but he really wanted Luke to be his ally so they could overthrow the Emperor and have like a Skywalker dynasty and stuff. So it's just really interesting. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and may the force be with you.